Partia, content with his future, rested well that night. Only he knew what was coming, though many of his council predicted it. War. Specifically war with the Kuzait. He had the money. He had the people. He had the influence to sway the support. He geared up before his men woke and practiced on a training dummy, dressed in the same armor worn by many Kuzait lords. As the men woke, Artia stopped and went to eat his morning meal. He chatted with the notables, gave a beggar some gold, and seemed to be an average caravan leader. But when his party got ready to march, he changed. He got on his horse, wearing his devilish helmet, one that the soldiers thought was forged in the deepest pits of hell itself, and he rode next to Garathion, just like he had during the bombardment. What is the meaning of this, my lord? And Partia, moving his head slowly to face him, responded in one word. Death. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another chapter of the adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. The war with the Batanians has reached its final chapter. For now, at least. With the fall of Ostakan, a quick peace must be agreed upon, even if it requires tribute from the Ishkas. The trouble to the east is of greater concern. Reports arrive that Hassan Falk is under siege, and as quick as they might ride and march, Artia knows he will not arrive at the old city in time to save it. He can only hope his vassals will turn their attention quickly once their own holdings are safe from Kaladog's warriors. And so, to peace we march, after one final bit of war. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. The war with the Batanians has gone extremely well. As we dive on into this assault, I want to make sure that we're properly, of course, upgraded and equipped. I'm looking forward to bringing this war to a successful end. Now, predictably and understandably, the Batanians might and probably will still request a tribute. And I'm okay with that. Because let's not forget by just how much we will have reduced the previous tribute. Let's not forget just how much territory we've gained in this war. We made a lot of progress. Even if they, you know what, honestly, even if they extracted the exact same amount of tribute from us as they used to before this war and before our successes, I'd be fine with it. I would say the results of this war uh, were magnificent and that uh, it all went quite, quite swimmingly. It's unfortunate, actually, that uh, the siege at Turby Castle and... There's another siege further south as well. Obviously, it applies a bit of pressure. But more importantly, as I mentioned, the uh, the war with the Kuzate applies a bit of pressure. And so, after we take Ostakan, there will be peace. But first, we take Ostakan. Lead the assault. We're properly equipped ourselves. We just have to get our soldiers into their, uh, their appropriate positions. We charge in, we dive in, over the walls we go, and uh, hopefully... This is beautiful. <laughs> Snow coming through. The the fires at the top of the keep and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, but as I was saying, hopefully we don't lose too many. Again, we cannot afford to lose too many soldiers. Even if this war is coming to an end, there is another extremely serious war um, you know, happening still. There, there there are two wars happening. One of them is serious. Um and we have to be very careful not to lose our oh oops. Got to auto deploy first. We have to be very careful not to lose our momentum against the Kuzate. We have to make sure that we don't lose too many soldiers. We have to make sure that we win wonderfully. And we have to make sure that we train as much as possible as well. I mean, this is not a small garrison. They, they, might, be, uh, they might be fewer in number than us, but they're not a small number, right? Uh, no more Trebs. Yeah, we're good. Battering Ram's going to head up over there. We're probably going to dive in over there. Get involved. This is the other breach. Yeah, probably going to dive in over there. Seems like more room to run around freely. All right. Let's begin to the end of this war. Oh, there I am. Excellent. Nice when I can spot myself on the battlefield. And I know exactly where I'm going to end up. Get Valdim out. Get the shield away. Two-handed. We get the first kill. That's promising. They get the second kill. That's uh, bound to happen at some point. Whoops. Premature there. Wah! Over we go. And crush at least somebody there. Gotta go ahead and hop off my horse as soon as I can. There we are. The fight we go. Ooh, taking a couple hits here. 
There we are. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice! Two with one swipe. Alright, here we are. Nice. Relatively safe. We are taking some losses. Lots of wounded. Couple dead. Doing okay though, I think. Sultan is here. Pushing through the breach. Well, our men are pushing through the breach. I already have. There we go. Yeah. Look at these kills. Come dressed like trees, you get chopped like trees. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, good stuff. I just I don't want to drop dead. I know it's going to happen too. I know it's going to happen. It's going to be one of these situations where I go chasing after somebody. And I get taken out of position and I get absolutely rocked. Come on now. There we go. I'd like to get to the other breach if possible. Nice. I love how this just like swipes right through people. Not a care in the world. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, men. There we go. I think these guys are fleeing, actually. I think we've done quite well. Might have taken a few more losses than I would have liked. Oh, dear. I don't want to lose my own self. I don't want to lose my own self in all this warring. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, these guys are definitely trying to flee over here. Looks like the war, or the battle, sorry, is entirely in our favor at this point. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh dear, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get to my men. There we go. Gotta maintain some sort of a formation. Come on now. Excellent. Beautiful. I thought these guys were surrendering, but... Uh, more like repositioning. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm about to drop dead, though. I can see it. I can see it. Hopefully these are false premonitions. Won't let it slow me down. Because, again, it's not like we uh, have a battle right after this uh, siege or anything like that. Well done, men. Well done. Push forth. The battering ram has arrived as well. Reach the gates. What are we looking at over here? All surrendering. Now, nah, where's the other breach? Where's the other breach? I remember vaguely, it's like over here, isn't it? Nobody up top, okay. Some men are at least coming over here. That gives me some confidence that we need to go over here. Yeah, a couple of these guys. Ooh, hello. More than just a couple, it looks like. Oh, dear. All right, we're okay, we're okay. Down with you. Don't really want to fight in these closed cramped quarters. Oh, this is not good. Should not have come this so far out. Okay. Guy in his shield. Decides to turn his back to me. Good, come on now. Rushed through. What does that mean at the bottom bottom left corner? I assume that means we've our damage has been dealt through the shield. I didn't see any shields break. Oh, ho, 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 that guy almost got me there. We're okay. Doing alright, doing alright. Oh, there's quite a few of them over here, actually. Here we go. Come on now. Gotta do overhead swings, I think. Caltrops are gonna get in my way. I don't think I can jump past them. I don't think it'll take me a while to get around there. Can I? Oh, I mean, I'm coming from the other side. It shouldn't stab me. There we go. Taking a risk here, though. If these guys turn around and start swinging at me, I'm in trouble. There we go. We're okay. We're okay. Oh my god. All this training. All it is, he's got to be a little uh, inventive. Wish my soldiers would uh, would learn. Got to hop over the other side of the caltrops and the, the spears on the ground and the stakes. Get down to business. There's a smooth flanking maneuver for you. Well done, men. But the battle is pretty much done. There it is. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good stuff, good stuff. 50... Oh, what? 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 That's it? I, I could have sworn it was going to be like 100. Did, I, I think I even... Did I say it or did I just think it? I was just like, as long as it stays below 100 or so, I'd be fine. Yo, that's great. 55 wounded, 63... Sorry, 55 dead, 63 wounded, 94 leveled up. That's good. Overall, pretty promising. I want to kind of see how I did there. Just kind of want to see how I did there. Ottawa did quite well. Where am I? Am I what, all the way at the bottom over here? Come on now. 
78 kills, are you kidding me? 78 kills, I'll take it. Lots of leveling up. Tactics, athleticism, two-handed. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Alright, cool. Wonderful. Not much to worry about over there. Leveled up quite a few of our soldiers as well. And I believe we got a fair bit of morale and, and all that jazz as well, right? Renown morale. Yeah, pretty good. Done. Excellent. Well done, men. Another victory well won. Omer and Curion is my prisoner. Um, you denied me. But we more or less have you in the bag here. Taking you as a prisoner might be a good idea. Might help our the tribute situation, right? You're my prisoner now. You are at my mercy. Fortunately, I am merciful. 121 prisoners. I'm pretty sure we have room for at least a handful. Go ahead and get uh, all this sorted. You. You. And get you. Get stuff. Stuff. Go ahead and finally recruit this gallant. I didn't want to get him for the siege, of course. Otherwise, we're okay. Yep. And let's take a look at our prisoner situation. We can get about 60 of them or so. Give or take. Right? Close. And again, we can get tier 5 and up now, so why not? We'll have a horseman as well. We're a legionary. I don't want any... I don't I don't want the lowest tiers of soldiers. I don't think that's worth it. Pretending hero. Let's go ahead and get you. Especially when there's so many higher tier soldiers. We have another war coming up. I want to leave room for more prisoners for our recruiting pool, if you will. Uh, though if anybody stands out as, you know, a better soldier on the lower tier or, or a required soldier on the lower tiers, then I'll, I'll go for it like an Imperial Infantryman. Sure, why not? We need more infantry, right? So sure, why not? Planning Spearmen, tier 3, sure. Levy Crossbows, yep. Woodrunners. No, thank you. Imperial Trained Archers, I'm okay. Militia, 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 Mercenary Crossbows, sure. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough. I don't want to get too slowed down. I don't want to, like, get too bogged down or anything. Go ahead and... Yes? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, we're good. Leave it be. It's too late. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. Like, what's the worst that could happen? We missed a, a, a decent soldier that we'll have a hundred of in the future. It's all good. Pick up all the loot, of course. Relations decrees for these guys, no surprise there, of course. Um, let's go ahead and deal with the uh, bigger picture, though. Excuse me, is that? Hang on, hold, hang on a second. Uh, this might be a bigger problem than I'd initially anticipated. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and um, get this over with. Gonna get peace with the Batanians. I, I wanna I wanna exit the city because I need to check some stuff. Uh Varen Castle. We should give it to Amalgan, I suppose. Fair enough, if that's what everybody wants. By the way, I've been asked about my relations with Yorig and Clan Ormidoving. It's not that great. It's not the end of the world. It's not terrible, but it's it's not that good either. Um but just to clarify these decisions, even though it says relations will increase or decrease, it doesn't actually do that. It hasn't been implemented yes, yet, I guess, uh, so it doesn't actually do that. Um, so we don't have to worry about that, but we, we should improve our relations with uh, Omidoving a little bit, just because it would be a shame to, to lose the clan and, and, and all that jazz, right? So Amalgan, I suppose you get it with support of uh, Ukai, Aldhan, and Kalatild, and the support of the council as well. Hopefully you'll do well. Yeah, you're a Valandian, so fair enough. Amalgan, done. Oh, that's Varen Castle, right? I was thinking about Ostakan. And Varen Castle's fine too. Good stuff. Either way, it's what the council wanted. It's what the nobles wanted. It's it's fine. Um, what was I up to over here? Diplomacy, right? So the Batanians. Oh, look at that. That is a significantly reduced tribute. I don't even remember. I don't remember what it used to be, but it was massive. That's all I remember. I remember it was being it was like ridiculously high. So. Uh, yeah, I'm more than okay with this. Look at our successes as well. You know, th th this war was successful in basically every possible way. Took a couple of casualties, but overall, it was as uh, it was as good as I, I could have asked for. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and propose the peace. We have the support of the council as well as our nobles, Erenix, Yorig, and Hecard are the only ones who would like this war to continue. Avalito, Samalgan, Ukai, Guzid, Odhan, Tovir, Kalatild, everyone is okay with peace. It is time to make peace. 
we must focus on the Kuzate. Everyone's been freed because of the peace declaration, that's fine by me. If I were to ransom them, I'm pretty sure I would have to pay a higher tribute. So I'm okay with that. Now the problem is that with this lower tribute, the Batanians are more likely to fight us sooner, like to war with us sooner. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. The Kuzate, they do outnumber us. They do have some uh, they do have some mercenary bands, I believe. And I believe they're also at war with the uh, Western Empire. I was hoping that would have distracted them, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Well, a little bit on and off, but not, uh, not as much as I needed. Uh, also, no support for a peace over here, so that's not going to be an option. Fair enough. While we're at Ostakan, though, I want to check something. Over at the Tavern District, do we have anybody here who would make a good commander? Because we do have another party slot. If I recall correctly, we did get one of those perks that would give us access to another party. Yep. And it would be great to have another 100 and, you know, what, 50, 100 and however many. Even if it's just 100 more soldiers, it would be great to have access to them. Uh, I don't want to get rid of any of my companions right now. I'm fairly comfortable with them being around me. Doesn't seem like we have any particularly commandy type people over here. I need like the golden, and I know I already have one, and he's being used as a governor. Um, but there are more. There are more of the golden around. We'll find them. I'm not in a rush for this per se, but we will find them. On the topic of party manage, ooh, uh, sixty tactics. I'm pretty sure the golden have a hundred. Let me check something here. The old golden. Yeah, 100 tactics, 100 leadership, poor stewardship. And, and this, I'm, I'm just guessing, but typically the the name, the title over here gives you an indication of the kind of skill uh, distribution they have. So, you know, the as we've done in the in the story previously, it's just these are heroes that Partia has heard of and heard of their, their capabilities and whatnot. And so we know what these guys are capable of. And so we can assume that if there's a the golden out there, their tactics and leadership is pretty good. Stewardship is pretty poor, but that can be trained relatively, relatively easily. Um, anyway, yeah, seems like we're out of luck over here. Well, why iron belly? Uh, but on the topic of, um, on the topic of party management and, and clan management, it's been suggested to me a couple of times that something I should do is empty out all the food from a holding and distribute it among the people that I'm marching with and allow them to feed their own soldiers. Because a lot of the time you'll see that we lose food because we're feeding starving soldiers in our uh, in our army. However, I was taking a look at that, and it looks as though, even if we go to uh, discuss something and have a proposal, I always forget where it is, have a proposal that benefits us both, it looks as though we can't actually trade food. I was, I was looking at this between sessions to like check, because it's a great idea. Again, the suggestion is that we purchase a bunch of food, go well over our carry capacity, uh, but then we distribute the food to other people in our army. And that way, you know, we're not feeding a starving army because everybody has food of their own. And as I'm slowly scrolling down over here, because, you know, maybe I'm blind, maybe I missed it when I was checking things out, but I'm pretty sure food of no sort shows up over here. Seems to be the case, yeah. Right, so that means that Again, as clever as that idea is, and it is quite clever, and I, I keep forgetting to do it as well. I keep completely, completely uh, forgetting to do it, but it seems it's not an option. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the comment, so feel free to clarify. Feel free to uh, let me know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I have misunderstood, but it seems as though, yeah, food items, food stuffs, I guess, cannot be traded or bartered or, or any such thing. Um, however, since we are speaking to our wife, why don't we go ahead and give her a gift over here? I wish you could search. Unfortunately, you can't. What to give? What to give you? Armored bearskin? I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. I'm sure we have something over here. Silver ore. That's weird. Here's a, here's a lump of silver. Here, have some cows. I, I guess that's technically food. Seems like a weird thing to give. She clearly likes collecting cows, I guess. I don't know, man. There you go. All right, then, she says. Yeah, that, uh, that went about as well as I expected. I must leave now. Now, let me see. Okay, now, that's uh, that's one type of person. What if I speak to Okai over here? Because, again, everybody else is kind of, like, in my clan. But Okai, you... Let's speak to Okai. 
Oh, dude, is that are those scars? Your Highness, I'm yours to command. Very well. I would like to discuss something. I have a proposal that may benefit us both. Can I give you food? A quick check over here. You know what? Seems to be a no. Fine steel. Oh. Mm, looking like a no over here, folks. Just doing a check because, again, if I miss something, I would love to have it pointed out. I am always open to feedback, suggestions, and opinions and whatnot, but I, w I just want to verify that, uh, yeah. Looks like a no. Now I've started talking to you as well. What should I give you? A mama glance. Sure, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? Though he likes collecting horses and, and oil, I suppose. Here, better fight our enemies with. All right, then, he says. I want to sleep now. I wouldn't normally do that, but it just feels kind of weird given the uh, utilitarian nature of these conversations. All right. Back to business. Back to business. So, uh, with that said, I will be picking up some food for myself, though. We do have a decent bit of food, but... Again, our, if our army is truly starving and we have a whole lot of fighting ahead of us, then it's not a bad idea. Uh, and, and clearly these guys are not starving either, so let's go ahead and pick up a bunch of fish. That's great. I guess, relatively speaking, that was a short siege. Pick up some grain. We already have plenty of grain. Pick up some beer, perhaps. Sure. Grab some beer. Get some grapes. Yeah, we only have a couple of grapes. 30 grapes. Take us over our capacity. <laughs> what can I leave behind? Armor. We got a lot of junk over here. A lot of junk over here. Surely, dropping this armor off will uh, take us below our carry capacity. Beautiful. Done. Um, actually, a lot we can drop off over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. They have a decent bit of money, is what I mean to say. Right, wonderful. I should be wary to maybe at least hold on to something. You know what, actually? All the people we've been fighting lately, like the Batanians, I don't think are known for the highest qualities of, uh, of, of armors. Uh, so I doubt they have access, doesn't look like it at least, to, uh, to good armor that I could give to my you know, upcoming companion. Because it, it, eventually, inevitably, I'm going to have one. Might as well hold on to some good equipment, right? Not that we have any, it seems like. Ah, fair enough. Go ahead and dump all this. When I say good quality, by the way, I don't just mean like acceptable. I mean like proper, war like warring equipment, like what we're wearing or like what we give to any of our family members. Yeah, we can dump you. We can dump you. Getting close to our limit over here. There we go. And you as well. Beautiful. Done making a bit of money. I mean, honestly, it's not so much about the money as it is about just getting rid of some of the junk we're carrying. Uh, done here though. Cool. Hopefully I didn't give away anything too valuable. We are able to move on. We could recruit some troops over here. What's the garrison looking like? 31 defenders. 31 garrison, sorry. I'm not too concerned about the garrison, uh, because we are, again, there's peace up over here. It's relatively tucked away, and we're going to be handing this off to somebody else anyway, and they will hopefully take care of it properly. Now, let's go ahead and leave Ostakan. Yep, we're, we're good to move on. Um, and hang on a second. Did I see what I thought I saw? Where am I? Yes, I did. Oh dear lord, it's worse. So Lycaron's under siege. That music stopped like, you know, on the dot there. This can only be the Kuzate. It's not going to tell me, is it? No. It can only be the Kuzate. Down over here, not only is Hassan Falk under siege, but so too is Tamnu Castle. That is three siege-capable armies fighting for the Kuzate. Peace is not an option. We're certainly not going to make it all the way to Hassan Falk in time. They've already got the battering ram, two siege towers. Yeah, we're not going to make it here in time for sure. See, our whole setup over here with the garrison, which I am happy with in terms of numbers, these are good garrisons. But the whole setup here was that we would be able to, you know, we'd be fighting here. Right? Like, we'd be pushing up here, we'd be pushing up here, and we'd be able to come back and respond. And, uh... And that the garrison, you know, however strong they are, they'd be they'd be numerous enough to, to stand until we arrived and responded. But, lo and behold, we find ourselves up in the literal opposite corner of the continent when these guys 
declare war upon us and now we have to deal with it lex army looks like it's traveling to legetta okay well can you get over to like Charon and maybe keep it safe Eckard's army is holding over here for some reason uh, fair enough fair enough uh we'll try and make our way over to like i don't know if we can i don't know if we i don't know if we'll i don't know i i don't know i don't know but we'll try <laughs> we'll try uh, sharing food with starving fine 48 days of food might need to pick more up en route, potentially. I'm trying to figure out if I want to let anybody else, like, just go for now. Maybe? What good does it do? It speeds us up a little bit, but, like, we're probably up against some pretty serious numbers. Are they also sieging Rote at the same time? That's ridiculous, man. How many big armies do they have? Owner of Ostacan needs to be determined. Yep, let's figure it out right now. Aeronix, aren't you Imperial? You are. It's not ideal. It's really not ideal, but it has the favor of the council significantly so. And it's got Odhan and Lex speaking for him as well. Oh dear. Fair enough. I would have preferred it to go to Amalgan. Yorig against gets, gets the short end of the stick, but... It's what the people want. Erenix, take command. Do not force your imperial ways upon the Valandians. Alright, done here. Again, hopefully they'll take care of this land. And actually, you know what? Before I move too far forward, I do want to check on a couple things. First of all, armies. Traveling to Baron Castle, traveling to Sargot. Baron Castle! No, go the other way! That's the that's the wrong direction! Lycaron! Come on now! Um, but uh, I was looking for clans overall. How are we doing over here? We're okay. We're good. 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 Excellent. Doing good. Not so happy. These guys don't exist anymore, but it is nice to see that the flag remains in our halls, I suppose. They are a mank. Good. They are Malarn. Good. Okay, cool. So, Ormidavin. Let's go ahead and spend some of our influence. Again, this is just a, the video game's way of uh, being like, oh yes, I spend time speaking to them and sending them gifts and speaking well of them and they hear about it happening and all that jazz. Jeez, how much am I going to have to spend here? Just to get it into zeros. They only have of castle, but it's not so much about their holdings being lost. It's about their numbers, their support. Right, this is a sizable force over here. As I make my way on that topic to Lycaron, I should keep an eye out for, uh, for mercenary bands as well. If I can hire more mercenary bands, then that would go a long way. I'm going to spend a bit more influence over here. Get up to like 10 at least. I want to have like a thousand in reserve. There we go. Cool. Leave it at that. Done here? Yeah. All right. Onwards we go to Lycaron. As quickly as possible. I'm I'm literally taking the straightest path to Lycaron. 39 defenders. Doing okay. Going to keep an eye out, like I said, for uh, not just... Kaliak is under attack by Valandians. Okay. Not just for... Um, for mercenaries, but also for others as well. Sarandon over here. Leader of two castles. Oh, okay, if he doesn't get away from me, which he will do, eventually. Face him for a bit. Conspiracy base of operations. Discovered. Oh, what? Partia. I hope this letter finds you well. I have learned from a spy in Chinopsis Castle that our adversaries have set up a camp in its environs. You could not tell me what they plan to do, but if you raided the camp, stole some of their supplies, and brought it back to me, we could get some idea of their wicked intentions. Search around Chinopsis Castle to find a hideout. Interesting. The Arzgaz told you about a group of conspirators operating in a hideout in the vicinity of their Chinopsis Castle. You should go there and raid the hideout with a small group of fighters and take the bandits by surprise. 20 days to accomplish this. Istiana's plan? I have no idea what to expect over here. Is it like a game over situation? I have no idea. Um, Tenopsis Castle. Belongs to Kerith. Of course that's where the conspirators are. That means it's not near me though. I don't know if I can get there in 20 days. Very well. We're very close to Sarandon's party over here. He's a lot faster than us though. Tenopsis Castle. Where are you? 
Ooh, hey, actually, that's not too far away from where we're headed anyway, so... Okay, that kind of works out. Kind of works out. I might have to let Sarandon go. Again, he's not that big a deal. He only has 31 soldiers engaging looters. I mean, I might be able to catch him while he's doing that. Nope. He's taking us off course. Eyes on the prize over here. He's not a major clan or anything. Yeah, literally taking us in the wrong direction. I'm fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. Got a cricket of a contractor to fight alongside the Asurai. Okay. Oh, this is a big army. Aradweer's army traveling to Tor Melina. Fair enough. Lek traveling to Poros. Lycaron, man, to Lycaron. What's the deal down over here? Ah, the assault has begun. 1,400. More even, 1,600 was the strength of this army when it began the assault. No wonder they feel so confident. Holy crap. The Hustle and Falk is certainly going to fall. Still not interested in peace, I might. Nope. Alright. That's what you want. I don't know how I'm going to make it there. I don't know what work I'm going to get done. We'll take it back. If we lose it, we take it back. That's simple. Good? Yeah, we're good. I was just checking all the purple. Black, what are you up to? Traveling to Poro still? Come on, come on, come on. If I could just force them back somewhere, I'd be happy. We're still moving. Ooh, same. Are you? I keep forgetting. Are you one to speak to? You are. Please let us speak. This is a bigger deal. Plus, he's en route. In fact, we're crossing paths. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? Stranger? We have met before, have we not? My name is Partia, sir. I ask your name. Oh, I think we met on the battlefield. I am Sane of the Fen Derngil, one of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I am Lord of Dunglanis. I know your name. I hear you took Ostacan, and much more. Uh, there's something I'd like to discuss. What do you think of your liege, Kaladog? I'm the rightful ruler of these lands. You don't like me? I thought you didn't know me. You know me as a man of honor. Ineffective. That's fine. As long as not a critical fail, I'll take it. No, I'm not entirely comfortable discussing this with you. I gave an oath to my liege. Well, Kaladog is not known for keeping his word. Oh, damn, I thought this was like a guaranteed click. No, that's not enough, he says. He's a friend of yours, is he? Well, the cruelty of Kaladog is legendary. Who cares what he stands for? The realm is drenched in blood. Wow, this guy's having none of it. This guy's just not interested. No. Why change sides now, he says. Well, you're known for your valor. Yep. Fortune favors the bold. Together we will win this war quickly. Nice. At least we got a critical success. Again, did we get him? No. But, butters him up for, uh, for next time. All right, fair enough. I'm going to sleep now. To meet you as well. Uh, Maranath, no. Like Huron, straight to like Huron. Nothing else in our way. It was worth it. I mean, again, we didn't chase him or anything. He came right to us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looters, we have no, uh, no mercenary bands or anything. Uh, that guy's not going to be easy to catch. Gonna go ahead and add some cohesion over here. We still have 43 days of food. Good stuff. Eventually, we'll come across, like we'll we'll pass by cities where I'll pick up more food. Gantrek is under attack. Tamnu is raided by Kareth. Of course, it is. At least that means Tamnu Castle has not yet been taken. The Gilmen are now fighting alongside the Valandians. Come on now. I kind of don't want to zoom out. I kind of don't want to see what's going on. Oh, siege has been lifted. Okay, that's good. I assume... Where's Lex's army? Oh no, don't tell me you've disbanded. Damn it! Traveling to Varen Castle to defend? No. What's up at Varen Castle? Uh, it looks like they just got here. Where's Heckard's army? Right over here. Alright, good, good, good. Is it though? Might not be. Might not be. Oh, this is bad. Why are they all the way over there? Is it... Is it a Kuzate siege or is it a Valandian siege? I cannot tell. There's no way to know for sure. Are these guys also at Amitatis? How many armies do they have? How many big 
siege capable armies do they have? This is actually kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. This is what uh, stands before us now. Now, of course, they took an opportune moment to strike at us. This Lycaron safe, but Chinopsis Castle we have to go to. Uh, I wanted to check, actually. Um, Jay? Yes, 16 days. We have time. How far along are we? Oh, we're very far away. We're very far away. And what's the deal down over here? The Sun Falk? Yo, they did a lot of damage, though. They fought well. They fought well. I'm New Castle, are you being assaulted now? Yes, you are. Another 700 soldiers over here. Man. This is gonna be rough. When the clashes begin, it's gonna be rough. Really hope Eckert's army does its job over here. Nice, the siege is done. Ohan of the Valandians has been taken prisoner by Avalitos. Good stuff. Ooh, what's going on over here? Do I want to engage Vipon? A leader of a clan, but a small clan. Baeya? Nobody. And Tadeos? Nobody. Alright, fair enough. We move on. The Karakurgit will be definitely slaughtered over there. There's no conversation to be had with mercenaries or nobles, so we move on. So I need to find a camp in this area, is it? Okay, fair enough. We get there quickly. Eckerd's army, where are you? Still up over here? Yeah, it must have been the Valandians up over here. Fair enough. Eckard, I hope you're doing okay. Engaging Fernhard's party. Alright, cool. Army is how big? 843. Eesh, taking some serious damage there. Taking some serious damage there. It looks like an army here fell apart. It's fine. I can't engage with everybody. Also, Falk and Tamnu Castle have both fallen. Okay, we'll get it back. Taking it before, we'll take it again. We just need to make sure they're not able to make much more progress. Bunch of parties over here. Look at this army. Like, is this army falling apart or forming up? Two armies over here. Valandians taken prisoner by... Okay, good stuff. That's the victory for Heckard's army, I take it. Yep. Uh, I wanted to look at the Kuzate over here. I wanted to see. They are still at war with the Western Empire. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure that there's at least something that's distracting them. You know, at least something that's maybe drawing their attention elsewhere from time to time. Go. Oh, God, such a congregation. Who among you can I speak to? Wahan of the Javal. I think he's the man in charge. Something I'd like to discuss. Join me as mercenary. I need to speak to Tulul. Fair enough. I don't think Tulul is here, though. Milosh? Which Milosh are you? There's so many Miloshes. There's three of them. Yeah, he's not the one in charge there. Noldan is not the one in charge. Aratus, I believe he's worth speaking to. Not worth it enough, I think. Alright, onwards we go. It's... I know it might seem ridiculous, but like... Consider the circumstances. What's next under threat? Razi. So quickly they moved and took Tamnu Castle and Hassan Falk. Shabal Zamur Castle and Razi are up next. Into our heartlands they might go. Right into the heartlands. We can't let that happen. Where am I? Like around this Sorry. Anopsis Castle. Tempting as it is to attack some of these castles en route, it's not worth it. Montrug has declared war on the Asarai with the support of the council. Okay, fair enough. Eckard's army still stands. Okay, good, good, good. See, what I don't know is... Okay, good. Black created an army. I was just about to say, what I don't know is... Is the AI going to gather armies to help with this war? Or are they just going to sit back because they don't quite want to be involved? There was a lot of support for the war against the... Um, against the Batanians. The Valandians really wanted their territory back. So, uh, you know, they acted on that. They acted on that. 
now here i don't know obviously what's you know in my best interest is also in their best interest and vice versa but i don't know if they know to act like that all right good stuff Sturgeons and the Valanians have made peace. They forgot they were at war. Oh, the Han created an army as well. Excellent. All the way over here, dude. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You're just... trapping 800 soldiers in the middle of nowhere. What does he hope to accomplish? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, I guess this hideout is the uh, the relevant one for our quest. So I suppose we strike it. We could strike Chinopsis Castle. Try and draw their attention up over here, but I don't know if it'll be worth it. 225 defenders. Fair enough. We'd be able to take it relatively easily. Lex Army is heading down to somewhere. Not sure where, but somewhere. The Balsamut Castle will fall as well. Fair enough. Forest Bandit hideout, eh? Do I want to take Anopsis Castle? Or do I want to prevent them? That's the thing, I don't want to get slowed down. A siege lasts some time. I don't want to get slowed down. I think I need to come down over here and engage some of these armies so that they're not able to continue this kind of uh, action, right? First of all, though, this hideout. Because again, realistically, this hideout and these uh, this conspiracy could be the end of everything. Hence me prioritizing the... Uh, well, this. Oh, that went into nightfall. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's take a look at the uh, party over here really quickly, see if there's anybody to upgrade or if it's just prisoners willing to join us. A couple upgrades, good stuff. Because I want to make sure if I'm training people, I'm training the right people, you know? Go ahead, upgrade you, you, and you. We can get some more battalion Bian champions out of this, I think. Which will be good. Do you sure? Everybody up. Again, this will also speed us up a little bit, I suppose. Can't complain about that stuff. Good stuff. Alright. Um, I do want to check one more thing, which is... Alright. So Conspiracy Strength is at 1763 out of 2000. Let's see what engaging here does. My spy spotted Conspiracy troops at the camp. Some local bandits have joined them. My spy does not know if they're expecting attack, so I implore you to be cautious and to be ready for anything. Needless to say, I'm sure you will send any documents you can find to me so I can study them. Go quickly and return safely. Very well. Alright, 1763. Gonna try and remember that. Wait until nightfall to attack. This is really unfortunate. Conspiracy troops or what? Oh, what? What am I supposed to do here? Do I guess I'm looking for documents. So we attack. Go ahead and make sure we take the right people with us. Not a bunch of cavalry. Why? Why would you? Why? Why is that the option? I don't want to take Fian Champion. They're already all the way upgraded. I would rather take. Um. Where are we here? Forest Bandit. Sure. These guys can become Fian and Fian Champions. Fian themselves can become Fian Champions. The heroes as well. They go down that same line. That's five. Well, four ranged. And the rest, infantry. Yeah, because probably not a bad idea. People with shields, though. We're up against forest bandits, supposedly. Hired blades, imperial infantrymen. I don't want them to be too low tier. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? I guess people are pretty well trained up. Damn, I guess so. Imperial veteran infantrymen, sure. Four of you. I need one more. You. Trained. Sure. That's our crew. I'm sword and board. Yeah, let's do it. Dive in there, find these documents, get the job done. Well, oh, they've changed this, by the way. Back to what it used to be. It was mentioned in the comments as well. And honestly, I mean, it's kind of strange going back and forth like that. Because, uh, I was just getting used to what they'd made it. But I am glad they've changed it back. It feels just all that much more natural. Nicely done. Nicely done. Moving forward. How many of them are there? 16 of them. We should be okay. 
we should be okay. I think I see at least one up over there. I think I see a few, actually. I'm up top over here. Let's go. I get clearer shots. Don't just, like, fire into the wind. Oh, well, here we go. Come on, drop him. I want them to train. Oh, dear, okay. <laughs> Was not expecting them to fire at me. Nicely done. It was like machine gun fire. Good stuff, good stuff. A few more coming. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, our men will take care of him. Front line. Come up over here, your archers. Come on now. One wounded. Are we okay? Yeah, we're fine. Come on, drop that fool. Seriously? Go. Oh, our, our man ultimately got him. It wasn't me. I just pushed him into uh, the direction of one of our allied blades, I suppose. Ten defenders left. Fair enough. Bring these guys up over here. Pick up some ammo en route. Bring these guys down over here. Let's go. Line formation so they hurry up. You can see the speed difference. Come on, now get into position. None of them left. Where are they? Kind of worrying, actually. We're okay, though, I think. Nicely done. Drop one fool. Keep moving up. Eventually need to pull our shield back up. We're okay. Oh, yeah. They're all over there, aren't they? Up over here. Go ahead and get your shields up again because if they are ranged forces, I want to make sure we're uh, well protected, literally shielded from their ranged capabilities. Pull up that way. Let's go. I'd love you to get some kills over here. Come on now. There we go. Beautifully done. Oh, right in the neck, I think. They're taking some damage over here, looks like. I want to send our men up. Well, let's go. Nicely done. Keep at it, keep at it. Ah, we lost the forest bandit. Of course we did. Nicely done, beautiful. Keep at it. Come on now, drop this man. There we go, excellent. Well done, man, come on now. Excellent, beautiful. This guy with his stabbing. Lost a battalion hero, well wounded, not lost. We're firing away. I sincerely hope it's a duel at the end of this. And not like a, a full-on combat situation where I'm severely outnumbered. Come on now. Good hit there. One more. I mean, these aren't the champions themselves. Uh, hence the missing, I suppose. Fire away. Come on. There it is. Beautiful. Oof. That could get hit in the arm. Pretty brutal. Whoa, this guy's packing some serious armor. This is this is most certainly not a mere bandit. Well, well, isn't this the famous Partia? You've been a thorn at our side for a while now. It's good that you are here now. It spares us from searching for you. You know, I like that I've been engaging in duels for the last however long to spare the men because it makes this feel a fair bit more uh, in character than just forcing our men to charge into their certain doom. We've seen how that's gone before. We see now as well that we are a more capable fighter than uh, than we previously thought ourselves to be. Talk is cheap. You really want me that bad? I challenge you to a duel. Ho ho ho, to hell with that. Why would I want to duel with you? There is an army waiting for you outside. If you win, I promise my army won't crush you. If I win, I will just kill you, and let these poor excuses you call conspirators run away. I will do you, do you for your insolence. Die, dog. Ah, do this. Come on now. Gotta be careful over here. I am so glad I'm at full health. We're good. We're good. Oh, we're fine. Come on now. You fool! Can't even fight. Swinging at the air. 
That easy. Well done, man. Didn't even have the dignity to die. Didn't even have the dignity to die. Good stuff. Trained basically everybody. Lost one soldier. Always gotta lose one soldier, right? That's how you know it's legit. Trained ourselves up as well in that duel, I suppose. Fair enough. But what's uh, most important is what does that do to this conspiracy? Conspiracy base of operations discovered. Okay, plundered gold. Quest completed. Excellent. 12 Empire Peasants. I'm okay. Con Conspiracy Veteran Fighters. Ooh, hello. They're alright, I guess. Take them all on. 23 Prisoners. Noble Horsemen as well. Jeez. Sure. Oh, I can't. Oh, I didn't even notice the arrow. Yeah, I guess I can't. Oh, wild. Uh, fair enough. That, 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 that does make more sense. I'll be honest. That makes more sense. Empire Peasants, there's no point taking them on. I'm not going to dump them as... I guess I could drop them somewhere as a uh, as, uh, garrison. Yeah, that's too bad. War, war, and crossbowmen. Conspiracy commander. The man that decided to survive. He lives now with shame. Fair enough. Alright, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're done here. Thought I'd try once more. And all of their loot as well, of course. Thank you very much. Relations increased with nearby notables. These are still conspiracy troops, which is kind of strange, I'll be completely honest. But let's take a look at, uh, sorry, not this, but this. Let's at this. So, quest completed. You defeated conspiracy commander in a fair duel. His men, the conspirators, scatter and run away in shame. You managed to thwart the conspiracy. Well, that's it? It's over? No, but I've slowed it down. This was definitely 17-something. I've slowed it down a little bit. Alright, that's cool. Do we just have to keep doing that until we can completely like how do I how do I complete uh, create, an, no, create a non-imperial kingdom? Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Weaken empire. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Hold on. Wait, what? Um, what's this now? Arzagos died and your agreement with him cancelled? Have I been receiving letters from beyond? Died of natural causes in 1096 at the age of 58. He was reputed to be just and honest, but ungrateful. Hang on a second. What's going on over here? Um, well, who are you? Arzagos, you are dead. How do you, what is, what? What? Hang on. What? <laughs> so does does that mean we can't complete the quest because Buddy died of natural causes? I mean, it's not the end of the world. He's pretty young too, though. That's unfortunate. Fifty-eight. It's not that not that old. Uh, all right. I don't know what to do with that information. All I know is that we continue our war against the Kuzate, I suppose. Lek is headed to a point. That's all you're going to tell me. Fair enough. We could head down to Hassan Falk and Tamnu Castle for ourselves. 832. Can I bring some more soldiers? Can. Eight days away. Four days. Nine hours. Three days. Where are you, Lot? They're not going to arrive in time to like help me in, in, a, in a big battle that's coming up. All I think I'll have to rely on are my skills. Um, the tactics that will hopefully win us this war. See, you guys have been taken prisoner by a person of the Western Empire. It's good stuff. I'm going to skip right past... You know what, here. I'm going to check what Phycaon's uh, garrison is. We've seen Chinopsis, 225. I want to speak to the last. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the numbers. 325, also weak. I'm lucky the last will head back that, this way. Lek is still going to a point, fair enough. 
So am I, I suppose. Really, we gotta go up this way? I guess this river cuts all the way down. Sure, fair enough, fair enough. Conspiracy troops and forest bandits over here. We've got uh, Eckhart of the Brotherhood's party. All right, I wonder if I could speak to them. Maybe the raid will be completed by the time I get there, if we're lucky. Eh. Oh, I can actually help him? No, I'm not going to get involved in raiding a, a village. No matter for what purpose, that's, that's not our style. Never has been, never will be. For that message, please and thank you. Go. Oh. Balsamur is, looks like this is the point that Lek is trying to get to. Army is arriving. Will these guys give up? Oh, I have a feeling they won't. Oh dear. How big must they be? I need to get down there ASAP. I'm glad I didn't slow down. Let's go, let's go. Assault hasn't begun yet. It's good. There's so many forest bandits over here. Oh my god. So many of them. No, Lek. No, 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 no. Stay here. Stay here. Engaging Vartan's party. Damn it. Distraction. Fall for it. It's coming back. Must rush down. Nope. He's like dancing back and forth over here. As this back and forth continues as well. We're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Somehow, Cheval Zamuda is going to be the one that stands. Fair enough. We'll see Dynastica's uh, garrison as well. 580 strong. Yurik, I'm not going to be able to catch him. Black, running from Varman's party. Oh, that's not good. How big must this party be that you're scared of it? Kaladog of the Batanians has declared war on the Kuzate with the support of his council. That is a promising turn of events. Oh, look at that. That's That tribute's very low. But they've already caused their damage. They don't get to get away that easy. Not a chance in hell. Especially now that their necks on the line. Running from Kanujin's party, there's Varmund, there's Kanujin's army. Has the assault begun? It has indeed. They are 725 strong. Okay, what are we looking at over here? Show me their composition. I'm not going to be able to speak to Varmund, I suspect. Yeah, he's running away from me. Lek is over here as well. Oh, I mean, he must come and support. Yeah, these guys know they're out of luck over here. But if Lek is close enough, and he engages and we engage together, and Kanujin's army could be defeated, what are we looking at? Got quite a few people in charge. Can't even see the full list. Jose Darkan, oh, 50 of them. Oh my god, 36 heavy lancers. 15 Palatine guard. 32 heavy horse archers. Seven Kazate Khan's, Khan's Guard. 38 Imperial Legionaries. 26 Imperial Butilari. 43 Manavliton. Oh my. Oh my. This is... This is no small force. This is no weak force either. They have been left to their own devices, they have trained, they've, oh man, they've prepared, they've prepared, and meanwhile, we've lost what, what was it, like 500 soldiers at Hassan Falk, another 400 or so at Tamnu Castle, in, in terms of our garrison, Dynastica has a, about 500, 600 defenders, let's say, not an easy thing to take, we haven't been able to scout any of this stuff. Phaikaeon and Chinopsis, at least we know, are weak. Oh, the Han besieging Phaikaeon. Go for it, buddy. If you think you can, go for it. After deploying so far away, could have deployed closer and applied some pressure sooner. We need to make sure this army is not left to roam. And who knows where that thousand strong army has ended up. Alright, we're going to have to engage these guys. We're going to have to engage these guys. We're going to have to do it next time. Folks, this is where we're calling it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. I uh, would say I'm sorry for the cliffhanger, but uh, it's nice to have a cliffhanger from time to time. Wasn't planning on it. I wanted to get here and cause some damage, but uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how that goes next time. 
you had a good time, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. If you didn't have a good time, leave a comment, let me know why. I'd love to uh, take your feedback into consideration and make adjustments as required, as always. A massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, a charge into battle, I bid you farewell.